Good morning, Bridge Nation. Welcome to the public eye. We have an open mind. Join us for the next two hours as we look at the affairs and the life and the liberty of the Jamaican people here and wherever you are, anywhere in the world. At 12 o'clock, we join Erwin Clare and Ira Jam for the Global Connection. The Honorable Pernell Charles Sr., veteran trade unionist, politician, raconteur, and Jamaican nationalist is with me. Good morning, sir. <laughs> 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 you laugh. <laughs> yeah, Mo, that's something you give me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. What you don't give me is rock stone. <laughs> rock stone, yes. Well, okay, got you. <laughs> and to the adjectives, yeah. each of them true. Thanks so much for being with us. This is the public eye. We prize our Jamaican. Jamaicanness. That's what we love. The whole prospect of this nation making good under God with the tremendous talent and capacity that we have here on the rock and everywhere. Amina Blackwood Meeks, the culturalist, joins us later on. Elaine Foster Allen, the educationalist, joins us later on it, uh, uh, again. And we'll be talking about Jamaica 60, reflecting on some of the things that Bruce Golding, a bridge contributor and also for, former Prime Minister of Jamaica, had to say in the Bank of Jamaica lecture that he gave, the G. Arthur Brown Memorial last week. Plenty to talk about in this land. It's hot here, but I hear it's even warmer in some other parts of the United States and North America, you know, Mr. Charles. The the, the temperature rise very high. Yes. Yes. Climate change is upon us. There was one time it got too low. (laughs) (laughs) Now it's going too high. True. True. But let, let's pick up and, and link with, with, with uh, Tony Rebel. Um, he was uh, commenting on the fish kill in the Rio Cobre and saying that he supports um, uh, the, the uh, Windalco being held to book. What is your feeling? Well, you could not give, perm- give, give permission to, could not give permission to a company to operate without protecting the Jamaican people. How much time did they ask the, the, the place, Mr. Well, Charles? But then this is where you, as government, has to decide. And that is where you have something called NEPA. And NEPA, well, ha, NEPA, well, NEPA. The government done. established NEPA well, and others. They're the regulatory to, to, agency. To, 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 to regulate <laughs> and advise the government what to do. Right. And what has been done, sir? Well, well <laughs> I... Nepa, Nepa don't even have false teeth. They have no teeth at all. They're a set of wimps. And this, this Windalco, which is owned by the, Russia, the Russian man, Derry Pasco, Rusal. Yes? You know his name? Yes? They are, they are walking all over us. And we make a holy noise. And they are, they're, they're, they're raping the soil. And then anything they don't want, the nasty chemicals, they visit upon the people in the Rio Cobra River. They must... Take with themselves and go home, sir. Well, I wouldn't say they must take with themselves and go home. I would say that if they are going to operate there, they must give the contractual obligation all that was there, which is the people of Jamaica must be protected. So, but this, uh, uh, if you can't protect them, yes. then you can't operate. Yes. So, if you're going to operate, you have to protect. Quad era demonstrations. Yes, but it, but look 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 at the history. Look at the practice. Nothing comes of the court cases that are filed. They just stretch out into one long uh, litany well, of, Randy, who of do you blame? Ad- adjournments. Who do you blame I, them? No, but, uh, bl- all I'm saying, it doesn't work, sir. No, no, it has to work. That is what the government is not only in parliament. Uh-huh. Government is our court system. So therefore, our, sir, all of it. Therefore, I would expect that the minister of justice, poor fellow, they've taken away most of his usefulness. But um, he or somebody would have would, would arrange that that case try next week in the court because there's no doubt what's happening. The fish kill is continuing. When min- the minister, the young gentleman, Mr. Samuda, speaks about the environmental bond. Yes, when the when the people there get the money and the river still still nasty, you can't regenerate the fish. You don't know what you're putting to their lungs. Yes, with the chemicals coming down. And it's not the first time. No. And 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 so you, that, who and, is going to determine when old fish yeah. gone and new fish come? Exactly, sir. And so, but, 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 so, so Tony Rebel is right. The money when the environment mash up. 
not just in the river. I believe in the whole bauxite sector. I believe it's coming to a close, that era. You don't agree with me, but we can talk about it. <clears throat> when the environment is, de is depleted, where the money going to do? Where the what? Where the money, the compensation. It's going to go through the people like a dose of salt, sir. Time well, we need radical move. I will move. ask you another question. Yes, sir. Where is the money? The, well, first of all, we're not. We're, we're getting penny quarty for the box side. <laughs> that is the truth. It's not penny quarty, penny up, no quarty. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you, you catch me. <laughs> Go ahead. Laughing, you never even know what quarty is. <clears throat> um, well, you know, as it, well, you have to have, you know, there's some humor because <laughs> we are talking to the world. Yes. All right? So they said that she don't know Farden. Yes. She don't know Jill. Jill. She don't know Quatty. Or Guinea. She don't know Guinea. She don't know Fippons. <laughs> she don't know Half Crown. <laughs> right? So we grew up with all of these we things. We grew up with all these and things. And guess what my father used to give us to put in the, the back? Farden. Farden. You're also farden? Quarter of a penny. Uh, but hold on, no, a young boy like you, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> and it big like I anything. Tell, I better tell you, no. well, Jill. Jill. What is Jill? No, four pence. Eh? Four pence. Four pence. Uh -huh. no, what, what is Jill? You catch me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, mean, I think, think it's four pence and penny. There's no four pence, that? That's <laughs> four pence is three is pence. Right, four pence is three pence and one penny. But hold on now. No, four pence, three pence plus one there or is, four? There is one that, well, is one that have a half penny, man. Uh -huh. Like four pence, three pence and Pen half mm. penny. Penny, please, penny. Now, what is it? <laughs> you know, the thing, the thing as a country boy, you know, no, <laughs> it's gone, I, I, it gone I, so long now you forget. <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there's this tone boy, I know all of my things. <laughs> but let me tell you now, anyway, this this box side thing is it, to me, it is bigger than just that issue, it is symbolic of a disrespect. For, uh, for the people of this country. The bauxite industry, let us not go into its past and its origin. It, we, many have profited from it. Jamaica has got some benefit from it. But I believe its era is coming to an end. And this is a sign of it, where the, 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 the disrespect and disregard for the environment and for people's rights, <coughs> excuse me, is, is palpable, it is repeated, and it is irremediable, Mr. Charles. It can't be cur cur well, cured. I, I, I listened to young Samuda yesterday, uh -huh. and I would believe that much of what he's saying reflects what the government is thinking sure. or is operating. Sure. Let me say outside of government uh -huh. that my position is the bauxite and the money we're getting cannot be more important than our people right. who are suffering. Right. And we must take that decision. Yeah. Whether we want the fish to be killed off, the people to... Oh. Next, next is not the fish going dead, you know. Yeah. People going dead too. Sure, but this because is... Because we don't know what's going on But this is here. the same... It, it is a similar argument with Noranda on the North Coast. Yeah. And what we're doing... Yes, instead of following what the Prime Minister said at Denby, yes, which is so important but so impossible to achieve under the very regime that he controls, yes, that the, some, in, instead of emphasizing the need to grow our food and export it and feed ourselves properly, yes, what we're doing is scraping off the topsoil, sending it abroad, and the what left is to kill us. Well, no, no, we? you're wrong there. What we do? We don't send the topsoil abroad. What we do? We scrape off the topsoil, we bank it, we take what is under the topsoil. That's what you and, think. And, hold on, we are supposed to get it level up back yes. and put back the topsoil. In fact, the contract yes, says... If you don't do that, yeah, you pay the money. government <clears throat> is to get X amount of money per acre to T do it. Tell the people of Alexandria. Tell the people no, no, of no. Tobolsky. Uh, tell uh, the people. Why are you going on my business? <laughs> it's, it's, Tobolsky, it's Tobolsky. I spent my first 13 years barefoot from you, Tobolsky you, to Devon. And, the, I know, and I know. Hold on. You're the Prime Minister. The same thing. You have lovely statements. And it's not because of your political affiliation. Because others have said it too. You have all of this. Philip Paulwell still feels that we have a future in bauxite. Yes, so it is, it is a mindset. That industry, an, an extractive industry of that sort, can no longer be a, 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 the backbone of Jamaica's economy. 
I say it another way too. If it is to continue, it has to lift the standard where it operates <laughs> according to how the country would like to have and it. Let me that the people are benefited, yeah. that the country is yeah. not destroyed. Yeah. First of all, look here now. Yeah. The bauxite used to pay big, big wages, right? They they're still not, pay big they're wages. They're not to doing it again. Two, the, no, no. The, the they still pay big wages to workers. Oh, good. They don't have as many workers as they used to Very have. Very well. Okay. The, 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 it's a sunset industry. The, the, the cycle of bauxite prices, the world market, is, is, is in the downward uh, right. arc, arc right now. <clears throat> and we're, watch, watch, watch me. You sat in Parliament and I did when Mike Henry was Minister of Energy. Yes? And every argument was given as to why we could not continue the bauxite levy. Why we had to, to, to accept that we would be, get a profit share off of the box that how much we, we ever gets are. And my resolution that I put in Parliament that it was time for us, the legislators of this country, P.P. Charles Sr., R.G. Thwaites, and others, to look at the the cost-benefit analysis of the bauxite industry, past and going forward, never saw the light of day. We're not interested. We are hiding from our own destruction. Let me say this for those who are listening. I'm going to give you a late <laughs> congratulation. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Okay. I think that I am more exposed now yes. to what you mm -hmm. were trying to say mm -hmm. because there are others there who thought the same thing but couldn't say it. Well, I didn't say it. And Ronnie, I have put together <laughs> my thinking mm -hmm. on Bauxite. If you go and look on the letter that I wrote in the late 1960s mm -hmm. when I returned to Jamaica yeah. and see okay. what the Bauxite has done to Tobolsky, mm -hmm. my yard, yard, my house, what you think my father's house, yes. the, the dirt that they take off yes, that sir. they were supposed to put back, yeah. farm a mountain, yes, sir. they dig out the hole, yeah. them leave, if a goat fall down from one and roll to the bottom, can't live. Can't live. If you go to Mokono, Rani, you were in government. Yes, sir. When I get up to speak yes, and you know, laugh after me well. and say, Pernell, Moko again? <laughs> Why? Because there's no more Moko. The mm -hmm. Garden of Eden has mm -hmm. been destroyed. Mm -hmm. Destroyed. Mm -hmm. No place to feed a cattle. So that you won't keep up? Because if, it, if you had the assurance that the government, the people of Jamaica, had the spine to regulate it in the way that you put forward the way that is contractually enjoined. Yes? yes. You could persuade me, sir. Look, but hold on. But it, if it, I, it's no, not hold happening. On. Hold on. If I can't get that, yes, then you sir. have persuaded me. Yes, sir. Well? Rani, it is, it, it is <clears throat> late. It is midnight. Yes. But therefore, between midnight and morning, there <laughs> is still some time. Okay. And if we allow from dawn <clears throat> well, to, to midnight, right? to continue from midnight back to dawn, yeah. then it's our fault. Well, th th then that's a fair statement, and I accept that, and I think that that is the juncture at which the country is faced now. I listened to you, the Prime Minister. Um, <clears throat> I didn't go to Denby this year. I, I'm kind of sorry, but I didn't expect all that much coming out of the post-pandemic thing. He went, of course, and he spoke such words. He said, he told, he told people that if we only planted more, if we got big business involved in agriculture, we could deal with the surpluses, we could, we could, we could be intentional about uh, substituting the wheat <clears throat> with the breadfruit and the cassava. Your son said the same thing, the minister, yes? Uh, and not one word about the capital needed to do that. Now, uh, hold on, hold on. My son made announcement and the capital. <clears throat> oh, tell me. I the Jade Jamaica Development Bank uh -huh. is putting together the capital for the farmers. Wait, is that for the farmers or for the processors? Well, hold on. Because what I hear ad advertised hold on, hold, is agro-processing, but not for the farmers. And no, I'm no, remind, no. Remind, reminding Mr. 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 <clears throat> Gazana Zan, who, big man, yes. who advanced farmer who couldn't get money from any of the banks and my own experience sir yes i'm sure it may be that was story. yesterday all right so but what you know what they do even when the development bank has it what they do is put it through the commercial banks and you would have dead your your cow would have dead your, Ra your Rani, plant your plant your plants would have quit before the best, you get the money who is the best person for us to carry here for the people who are saying <clears> some of it Talking foolishness, some talking. No, no, Who I, is it? Who is it that? Because running. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Without the processors, mm-hmm. it don't make sense. No, no. Without the producers, it don't make I sense. Don't have, I don't have so any we, problem with the processors. No, I just no, no. want the... Per, the, the <clears throat> if the processors don't get what to help them do the processing. Yeah. The farmer. If the farmer don't get it. If the farmer don't get it to help produce... <clears throat> And the produce the, the process have to get what what to have to produce. Well, this is process. it. This, this Hold is on, Ronnie. Yes, sir. Some of the big processing owners of Jamaica uh, have storehouse full uh-huh. of what imported goods. Yes, sir. If they and that them get OJ for. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. No, and I'm here talking. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're but not Ronnie, into that. If these you're people. You're a striving farmer. If these people. Yes, sir. These Tour house yes, sir. people uh-huh. could join with the producers. Yes, sir. And I'm not telling the small farmers though, because you want big but, farmers. But, but small if and big. If you don't get money with money, yeah, but who the, can walk into yes, a bank and but, write a but, check? But how no? What we have in Jamaica, let us paint the picture before we take the break. We have every high rise going up. Yes. <laughs> we have capital for every up apartment we sell for 40 million dollars yes yes, yes. W- w- whether it's housing trust or it is billing society or it is commercial bank or uh nowhere and money coming in from we, we know where but we don't want to say where yes, yes? big ribbon a cut yes more yes. see ribbon cut for farm more want see ribbon cut for for, for livestock more want see ribbon cut for school feeding yeah that uh, that is progress yeah, otherwise, hear. pure drain on foreign exchange and, 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 and what Tony Rebel would call a d- dead flesh in your belly. I heard the minister <coughs> congratulating women. Yes, sir. Coming into Co- the minister Co- of our country. Correctly. Young people. But, but I heard him talking about available money. Good. For, pro- for production. Uh-huh. And I heard him calling on the major. Okay producing uh-huh. owners yes. to <coughs> open their store houses uh-huh. for local production rather than waiting on the barley to come from where, 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 where <laughs> Putin does let it through. Ukraine. Ukraine. So what so here now sir, let's be let's be let's be positive and progressive. What we want to do <coughs> is to uh, alert the government that their practice of of lending agricultural money through the commercial banks does not work. Say it another way. Mm-hmm. Anything you are going to do, if you don't get the money directly to the farmers or to do in the production, yeah. you it will not work. And you know what happens? So if you want go, whatever you want to go yes. through, yes. the money must get to them, to them. And, and they must be and able to find water. Right. Yes. But my son frightened me I said, if we have too much rain, you destroy. Yes. If we have too much sun, yes. we destroy. Uh-huh. So we have to Take the chance and yeah. go forward. Sure, but we can we can mitigate the chance. Yeah. The issue of water is a major international qu- question now. China, people buying up properties all over the world where there's access to water yes. because they see the crisis. The crisis of the Middle East is largely a water crisis, you know, sir. Yes. No, but but we in Jamaica have reasonable supplies. We have b- b- capacity to do much better, and this is where we must go. I want th- 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 this is more important than any any other cons- consideration that we have now. Jamaica, si- Rene, F- food is everything. Jamaica thing, you know. is sitting mm-hmm. on water. Well, there you are. I understand that whether it is in Westmoreland, mm-hmm. Clarendon, or where, mm-hmm. is just a few feet. Yes. I put it here. Yes. It's under you. Aquifer. You are walking on water. Well, then, look at that now. Right? So why is it that St. Elizabeth is, is <coughs> don't have the kind of well? In St. Thomas, yes. fine well. Yes. It's yes. just you have to have the so we, capital we, right. to search for it. Yes. And they, so, so we, they have, need to do it. So we have capital for high rise, but we don't have capital for, to, to plant the ackee and the breadfruit. No, no, no. Take right another way. We have, <laughs> we have... We have the investors. We live in a bubble. We have the investors. Yeah, but where's the mentality? So, and who is, no, who is, the money who is changing running, the... Run it. Yeah, but when mo- you put up a building and get 40 million and gone, uh-huh. you have to do it differently in the soil. Yes, sir. So, so, so I want that to happen. Yes, we want to get at those people. Yes, sir. 
So, so want to get at the mission. We want to get more Azan out so, there so Prime Minister, and get the help for Azan. Prime Minister to do what right, he has to do. That we want to plant so we don't have to import for the tourists again. Yes. yes more than so. Or for the school with you. For, exactly. Because so. if uh, when you check the amount of food going into schools, ninety seven percent import. Uh, so so tell me now. When 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 we're going back to school in less than a month's time now, September morning come, we're gonna get the picnic. same food come from abroad. Where is the progress? When well, I asked the former Minister on, of on, Agriculture, on, we're going to break soon. The food the, is not going to produce <clears throat> between night and morning. You know? No, sir, that is the problem we're gonna start. We need to see the start. <laughs> yes. We need to see the, look the, here, the, the, the groaning on which we're gonna start. Look here, I'm telling you just as we as we go to the break. In, when I got into the Ministry of Education and saw what the position was with school feeding, the inadequacy and the skew towards the imports and the health problems that this was incubating, yes, I said to the then Minister of Agriculture, the late lamented great Roger Clifford Harrell Clark, <laughs> I said to him, how can we combine to, to change this? He said, Ronnie, it's going to take three to five years. And the three to five years passed and it didn't happen. Yes, he has gone to heaven. The children are still here. <laughs> and no step is being made in that regard. Yes, and we are celebrating 60 years. When you're 60, you're supposed to have sense, maturity, rather than, than, than hiding from your own inadequacies, self-imposed inadequacies. Yeah, but, yeah, but vex. Mama, Mama, <laughs> also, all right, cut down your vexation yes, now. Sir, sure. And make we decide, so we're going to do it. make a start. I agree. How we're going to do it. Yes. Because if we don't do it, do it. vexing work. not going to help not, us. Call not going to help Very us. Full. So we're going to how come back and say, yes. farmers, right. get ready. <laughs> we call it straight on the public eye. This is the Bridge 99. we soon come back. Amina Blackwood Meeks, what a pleasure. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Pernell is with me. Yes. Hi, Chief. How are you? What may, you? may I write, Mom? <laughs> Good, you're hearty. Good. You have any story to tell us, Mom? We love story time, you know. Oh, well, um, all, all the stories I tell are related to the season yes. that we're in yes, and yes. At, at the moment. And I've been listening to the last few minutes of that discussion. Yes, and yes. so the story that comes to my mind is about Puss, Puss, Rat, and, and, and Dog. All right. Because one time Dog did decide to run from a master. And the master said, yeah. you can't just run away like this. You know, you have to have something near my free paper. The dog go all over where him could have go and and got himself a free paper. Oh. But the thing about the free paper, according to dog, it was too difficult to take care of. Oh. Breeze go blow it away. When him want to eat, him have to find somewhere and put it. So he had a best friend named Puss. <laughs> so I'm explaining to Puss that master now treat him right. But him get this thing named free paper and him run away with it. But it is so much bad aeration. Puss, you can keep it for me. And friend to friend, Puss say, yes, I can keep it. But guess what? It don't belong to Puss. So it was double the bad aeration. Mm. But Puss had a best friend named Rat. So he <laughs> keep Rat to keep it. Well, old master here is a dog run away. And him asked for the habeas corpus of dog. <laughs> and he all over the district and look for dog. He buck up dog one day and said, you supposed to be guarding me yard. Yard said, take dog, said, take away yourself. I have a free, free paper. paper. Yes. So old master give dog three days to produce. Free dog said, three days as your quinta bring it. Hmm. So I'm run to him, friend. Puss. Puss no one say, Puss. Where did that you... thing I give you to keep. Uh, where, where there? Puss <laughs> scratch your head, you know, because you know where dog at talk about. Him say the thing that say, I am free. Him say, oh, I had a little problem with it. And so I give it to my friend, my, my best friend, Sister Ratty. So come and go for Sister Ratty yard. Sister Ratty no know where Puss are talk about. Them have to explain again and describe. Sister Ratty said, oh, you mean that thing? I never knew it was so important to you. The other night it was cold. And I take off a little piece and I make a blanket for myself. And the little mice them did cold too. So I take off a little piece <laughs> and I wrap all of them. By this time you can imagine dog is going to have a heart attack. Ratty said, 
Then if this thing was so important to dog, why I'm never take care of it? Mm-hmm. And it- pussy are true. Anything that is so important to you can be a bad variation to look after. And I know you all understand. Fully. Oh yeah. my. Fully. 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 Hey, listen to me. You are you are <laughs> the, 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 you're about to know something. You know something? What? Tell me. A lot of things are important that we don't think is important. And we give it away. We mine it out, it gone, it make all kind of things a world. And what it leave with us is pure whole. Perhaps because we have not been taught that it is important. True. We cannot know what we have not been taught. Bible said that. We cannot know why Kingston is the city of music. We cannot know why the Blue and Jankra Mountains is a world heritage site. We cannot know what it means to have reggae as world heritage music till soja come and gone with the Grammy and we are here saying, then how come we can't write a note of music? And we can't connect that to the history of the contribution of the Alpha School of Music. So we're not connecting the dots because nobody has taught us, not when we're in school, not when we drop out of school and become unattached youth with no place to go. And so we do not have a mentality that who we are and what we are is important, first of all, to ourselves. And then because if it was two square miles bigger, we are world power. What does it mean when we call ourselves the Mecca of, of, of culture in the Caribbean? We have to be taught what that means so that we can curate and preserve it and that thing says something you put in formaldehyde and you go open the museum door to see it and come out but is it the teachers we don't have or the students is it the policy we don't have is it the teachers we don't have she asked us a, a is it the policy that we don't have because we inherited <laughs> not just a colonial system of education but colonial content and every so often we cut a little piece and put in a little piece and we cut a little piece like, and put in a little piece like this but rat. we still have an education system that is founded on inequities and inequalities how am i going to go to saint elizabeth every three months and get a nice girl who can come take care of my house and perhaps her boyfriend or her husband can come and take care of the yard and take care of the dog if if everybody in the school is not equipped to excel how can we 60 years after independence still be talking about good school and bad school and 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 some children were run away like dog when the results come out because them parents in a them skin and so and so we need to we need to decide on who is a jamaican what are the qualities of this Jamaican citizen that will make us proud? And then we have to have an education policy that say we have to know about Marcus Garvey and FIBA and Cuba. And we have to know about, because you mentioned water, the importance of the water um, systems up in Akampong. And we have to understand that Nanny was real, although people tell us, say, well, we're not so sure. We have to have an education policy that sees identity as the gateway mm-hmm. for achieving a- academic excellence. And then we can put the content in after that. So it's I me and you want talking today, you know, because guess what? Mm-hmm. Most of what you're talking mm-hmm. bothers me. Mm-hmm. Let me say this, and I'm embarrassed to say it, mm-hmm. but I learn more about myself in America mm-hmm. than I learn in Jamaica. Mm. Because when it when we try to talk like you, mm-hmm. or walk like you, or say what we laugh after we, we laugh at ourselves. We don't know that we have a pride. We don't have a pride piece of thing in our hand. So, so and we don't have the teachers because, uh, but must go away with that. So so tell me now, uh, Amina, how you how you how you judge what we're doing for Independence Sixty how that match up with the kind of philosophy that you just outlined? I think it is extremely important 
to celebrate who we are. Let me just back up a little bit and say something which is bothering me, because Chief mentioned the fact that we learn more about ourselves when we travel. Yeah, because them loot with things and take it away. Them teach, we say, we have created nothing. And yet them teeth the nothing that we have created and refuse to give it back. Not just from the continent, but you know how much money Liberty Hall have to pay to get a couple seconds of Marcus Garvey's voice so we can hear hear what Marcus Garvey did sound like. So when we talk about reparations, we have to take all of those things into consideration. Give it back the nothing that we have not created so we can have it for teach yourself. So, Listen, so, teacher, so, teacher, yes, this man here, run it with, mm -hmm. <clears throat> pulled me into a thing some time ago and we want to put to you that this reparation is not a money thing. This reparation have generations coming that should be taught. And we decide that we not standing on our sidewalk asking for a few dollars because we don't know where the money going to go, who going to run it. But we want to have five or six university sponsor and paid for by them for 10 or 15 years to put Jamaicans in institution and teach them what to do. Are you and then and then don't you see chief how everything is everything because ed if edu education must do a number of things it must inform yes it must transform yes and yes. sometimes it teach us only to conform and so if we're seeing education as part of how we shift the mentality of slavery as part of how we emancipate ourselves from mental slavery, then a huge part of the reparation is inside of my head. We don't, have a, the, we don't have a problem. It, we just have to create more mean a black wood. Mm -hmm. We just have to find all of you. You have to create hundreds of you around the country <laughs> And make man up to know them a laugh after some. No, no, say if you give me you the know, money, me go around the country and do it, chief. Do you know that? No, no, say if you give me the money, me go around the country and create more of me because if we don't create more of us, we never lived. Do you know that? If we don't create more of us, we end up like what Jan Karu said in the cemetery with the potential of black people. You hear a man call with me the other day because me say me read you. And him a talk rubbish about your talk, your writing rubbish, you know. And me and him nearly fight. But 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 the the important. I should I hear? <laughs> they would have fight too. The, the 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 important point is that our our education system does not. We don't we don't have a clear vision of of our identity, which we pass on to our children. And w well, or rather, the clarity some that some of we, us running the, sure, but the clarity we have is 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 expressed in a desire for things. It's a, it expressed in a desire to turn American, um, to get one visa or a, one farm work ticket. Um, as if those things really can identify us, and we 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 comply rather than 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 assert our own selves you know in a way that is unselfish in a way that is is contributory to to liberty and that is part of the importance of the jamaica 60 celebrations that at least one time for the year in th there are other times but let us focus on this time now people are 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 self-actualized to put on the black and the green and the gold even if they don't understand in depth what it means, you know, Mexico has a museum of anthropology and in the main and, 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 and that several acres big and I want to something and in the main hall, which is about half an acre big or maybe a little more than that, stands a nine foot statue of what they call the snake woman and the snake woman is their equivalent of a Nancy and I come back and I say, you can imagine what would happen if we had a nine foot statue of a Nancy down at IOJ and people think they may attack foolishness. Of course. And then I say to them, look at the Mexican flag. In the center of the Mex Mexican flag is a, is a snake and an eagle. And that <clears throat> represents their central uh, legend, their central creation story 
a foolishness them I talk to them if their mythologies are represented in their national flag and in the main halls of their um, museum of anthropology so we need to be taught how to see ourselves so we, we we might not understand why we have on the black the green and the gold we might not even understand that that it doesn't cover everybody it don't cover the rasta man who we laugh after and say why am i always a walk with the marcus garvey colors it don't cover him. It don't cover the Maroons that we don't understand. It don't cover the Seventh Day Adventists that we sometimes laugh at. And so we, we, we need to come to a point where we understand our cultural diversity. <clears throat> so we celebrate that even as we celebrate all the things that are embodied and represented in this flag that represents us as a nation otherwise we are going to be forever leaving out what would make the change segments. amina pardon me what would make the change in year 61 what we, would make the change what would make the change in year 61 what what's we, we, we're drawing close now to back to school september morning um, there is a sense, even as we celebrate Independence 60, that there's a disquiet and unease among many, many people. Um, all of we could we could go on. What 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 are some of the things that are possible that would make the change apart from giving you the money for go around go, go, go around the island <laughs> island to boom this this, <laughs> this profile uh, yeah. of who we want to be proud of as a Jamaican and there are many many models we can call upon. We can call upon Cuba. <laughs> we can call upon Brazil. We can call upon France. All of whom have culture as their central ministry not the ministry of finance who say you get this little and you get that little culture how many parks how many tertiary institutions and so on that would make a difference i believe i believe there are lessons that we have not learned from covid 19. we have not learned that there is something called intergenerational learning you know all of the grandmothers and grandfathers who were at home with their children yeah, plenty, um, plenty all of the passed. parents who were True. not yeah all of the parents who were <clears throat> were unemployed and had to be at home and who could have been involved in the online learning we Aye. can take some of that on board uh -huh. we can take on board how we are so occupied and preoccupied with earning things that we don't have the time to be human beings miss b Yes. Miss B, listen to me carefully. This has bothered me lately. When I was a boy, there was a man in my district that come by the house to give us a Nancy joke. Bra Nancy, bra Tukuma, and bra this. But them always win. They always win. And we, we laugh. They the culture running was one which shows how him plant him corn, what him do, how man do this and how him get around it. And we laugh of it because we did not consider it to be important. But yes, it we always understand. win. And yes. we never study how to win. <laughs> we just laugh yeah. after it and gone home. <laughs> Miss B. That's fantastic. Yes. That's fascinating. You understand the point I'm making? Yes. yes. Of course, what a Nancy represents, where a Nancy come from. Mm. But in the way Africa has been belittled, everything we bring from Africa was belittled. And over time, because culture is also your worldview and how you're taught to think, we think that everything about us is insignificant and so yeah education is definitely a let me just say this that education don't just happen in the formal classroom or you wouldn't have this program for radio true and so it requires everybody one time marcus garvey did look around and say who then is the black man's king I'm translating now and him say well let me ask the question me not see nobody so i must see me and he took on that role. And the point I'm making is, in every question we ask, we are part of the answer. So when Marcus Garvey arrived in New York with him plumage and him feathers, it stimulated something called the Harlem Renaissance. And those of us who believe in the things we have, have been saying must become our own uh, embodiment of Marcus Garvey and stimulate the Renaissance 
in the direction that all of us can be proud of. And there was somebody to 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 make us laugh at it, make game of it. But uh, but learn Take from no it. Make no sense. But learn from it. Well, but but learn from it as well. We, Ronnie, the, we the, should the, the, the we many... should have been taught to learn. Yeah. We were not. It was joke in which you laugh and say that no good go with it. Oh. That was what was put before us. Uh -huh. What do you think when one man can't talk, one can't see, and one and him come and the man call and say, "Why him say one can't talk, it's, one don't hear, not, one blind?" Okay. It's a big piece of strategic cultural presentation. Okay, I got you. We don't know about it. Well, you know, I am interested that, that culture is not something that we revive at Independence time, but rather that we we look we 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 think of it as 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 being this 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 healing air that's, uh, that 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 has to, has to has Absolutely. to permeate every aspect of our lives. But but next time we talk, you know, I mean, we have to we, we have to be practical. What do we do? How do we change the curriculum? How do we make it so that, in fact, this is not uh, 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 confined to to a grill going around from school to school as important yes. as that is uh, yeah. why, why we don't wait on the publication we we, we think of the evening you, news we we we, right. we, we lift, lift it to at the and spread it to the music that plays on bridge 99 um, and all our institutions, everyone, the Scientific everyone. Research Council, Absolutely. I mean, I pick on that one, yeah, the sure. Sports Development Foundation, Got all it. of them, yeah. what is their role in yeah. re-enchanting ourselves yeah. so that we can play our part? Yes. But you have as to the know, national plebs, indeed. plebs says. And it, 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 it's, it's going to be an enchanting task, but a very difficult one because there's a lot of definition, there's a lot of contestation that has to happen. But the struggle and the movement towards it w is the elixir of a new life, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, the black would mean. There is still yeah. something yeah. that is a problem. Yeah, what is it before she goes? There, when we are put, when Amina is pushing something mm -hmm. culturally, mm -hmm. there is a force yeah. that is preventing that. Well, that was that's Still all. Still don't love herself. There is a Still force. Still don't love herself. Yeah, but then, uh, how, sure. you going to, how are you going to overcome that force when many of us mm -hmm. has taken on the job to mm -hmm. push that force externally? Don't it may be yeah. we learn it yeah. over ours yeah. and we, 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 it's strong. So we can't burn down Babylon. We don't, know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't sleep, Chief. Man, we don't make anybody sleep. say, oh, <laughs> what, what is we it? We don't so? sleep because those who are pushing back are always awake. I, there's a, a, a conflict. Yes, but we can. We, we we're strong yeah. enough, you know. We understand it better. Right, but we have to wake up and say we are as, part as of Louis that. Bennett, which part as, are you? Which part are you? you know, as Louis who is Bennett teaching me? Which side? Which side? I must go on. What she said. Our defense is not defenseless. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thanks so much for today. Blessings to you. Keep up Blessings. the work. Blessings. Thank you so very All much. Thank you. May, may, uh, I come, uh, may I come in the yard and make we talk? Because, trust yes, me. yes, yes, yes. May I come for follow you? Yeah. <laughs> forget the promise. Just, just before you go. Thank so much. Ten, yes. I beg Ronnie, 10 seconds. We, our problem on this program is that we still feel our children are not going back to school. Are you gone? Is she no, still there? No, I'm right here. I'm right here. And when you say, let's go out there, we believe that some of the new organizations mm -hmm. that are coming up, fighting government, that we should fight communities where they are not taking care of their children, they are not talking to one another, they are chopping up one another. We think there is need for a new organization and I know you're ready. Me ready anytime. Call me. Ready when you're ready if you come chat down by Aye. the <laughs> Oh, I could talk. Um, I mean, uh, thanks very much. All the best to you. This is the Bridge 99 FM. The program is a public eye. Pernell and myself soon come. Colonel Charles and myself are chatting. We're going to join Erwin Clare at Ira Jam in New York for the Global Connection in a few minutes' time when they signal to us. What your father used to do? He would put up his five fingers. He put up his five fingers. Yes, representing now all of the different strands. Everything, culture, and, this, this. Sure, that. different kind of people. Right, right, right. Different interests. Different color, different race. Right. Different okay, bit. okay. And him say, roll them to into a the solid fist. fist. Yes, yes. Him say, you see that fist? Yes. Yeah. 
you can knock out anything with it. Yes. When you say push out one finger, and, you're going, you're and look, push out, he said thump. He said no, so I brought the one finger. You lose the strength. Push out two. Yes. You don't have it. No. So on all five fingers. Yeah. Yes. I'll do a what? He say, what out one is a lick, lick one? Yeah. Yes. The one is a short, big one. Yes, yeah. one. The one is, you put all of them together and then find them space. Yeah. So it, what is what? Come now. Let's let's link that that powerful image and remembrance that you have and are communicating to what Amina was saying. Because what she what I what, what she's saying is that there has to be a very self conscious identification of the divergence <clears throat> in that that makes up Jamaica. Yes, not the that that takes into account of different strengths and weaknesses. That is my understanding of what the late um, literary philosopher, historian, Kamau Brathwaite, yes, the whole idea of creolism, that we are this mixture, which, which doesn't, doesn't denigrate anybody, yes, but, but, but in fact elevates everybody for the worth that they have and corrects everybody for the mistakes and the baggage, the unhelpful baggage. One of the interesting things, Pernell, when, when I was um, a graduate student at UWE, under Brathwaite, um, he was studying the history of slavery, black culture, etc. Yes, But he insisted that I take him to go and see a gentleman named Mr. Ansel Hart, who was an old patrician, um, almost white lawyer. You may remember the, the person or the name. Mm-hmm. And I wondered why he was interested. He Brathwaite was interested in in great house culture, because it was part of the Creole mix. Yes, he wasn't dismissing it as saying, "Oh, that was evil. That was uh, was 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 discriminatory." It, it, it was all of that, but it had it had elements of art, of personality, of gift, along with the other things. Let us accept ourselves as we are and become who we can be. Not one finger sticking up or two fingers sticking up. Yes? Yeah, but hold your finger. Hold on, let me show you one. Yes. He put about the finger. Yeah. He said, don't this one is short. Yeah. He can't, he's not tall like the big one here. Yes, sir. This one is a lickless of all. Yeah. And this one is big, but guess what? Yeah. Put him on, he can't do it, you know. Yeah. Put them all together. together. The short <laughs> one. Yes. The tough so, one. So, Mr. The Jack- long one. <laughs> Right? So no, so so it, no, so it no. Knock out anything. Anybody. So no, so so what we are saying now, okay? Take Jamaica. We have class conflicts. Yes. We have racial conflicts. Yes. We, um, we, we have, have uptown conflict. Uptown we conflict. Have downtown conflict. Yeah, we, we have, have country conflict. We have, and town we have conflict. We have PNP and JLP conflict. No, that, that that that. That one, that one, stubborn. We yes. have illiterate man and <clears throat> educated right. man. So what we're saying now, yes, is that if we are able, if we are free enough in our spirit in the 60th year, yes, yes, to bring it together, yes, and to say, me not the same as you, my history different to you, yeah, yeah, but there's a commonality of strength that we, I know we can achieve. In other when, words, when when, when we are together, you know, if you not in it, yes. I can't make the fist. No. If you are not in it, in it. Yeah. It's so like all so 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 look look now we take we take we take Daddy Charles simple analogy powerful one yes yes and 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 make it into something that can be a, a recipe for a future it can it can it it can deal help, help us to deal with all kinds of different issues from education to 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 liberty generally to issues of of how we spend the little money we have how we how, whether whether we serve our own interests or we, we serve common good all of these things it can, can change you know what it could suppose may, may I ask you one last question on this before you reply suppose we had that common fist yes attitude when we were in parliament you think what would happen? What we'd would happen? Na- we'd have knock out, <laughs> we'd have knock out a whole heap of the problem we have. Yes, sir. Right, because Ronnie, I say. Yes, sir. We say that. We say, you too small, so you're not in it. Right. You too big, you're not in it. You yeah. too brown, you too white, you too black. Yeah. You know, one man laugh after you. Yeah. But, look what has happened. We remain like this. Yeah. We open your hand. Yes. And not one of them can, can move forward. Well, this is the point. If you don't wrap it. This is the point. You can never go forward. I, I listened this morning to the police commissioner. Yes. Police commissioner was saying how many, we, we, we collect some more firearms this year so far. Yes. But what he said was frightening because it's less revolvers we, co- we collect, but more submachine guns. 
So I'm asking, you know, where the submachine guns come from? How them, how, how, how they take, yes, coming, how they take the, 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 the level. We come back to this. Erwin Clare is on the line. Boy, you post us this morning, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Clare. Thank you very much for joining us. This is Charles and Thwaites on Public Eye in Jamaica so. on the Bridge 99. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Erwin Clare joining you both on Ari Jam 93.5 in New York City. And, of Ciao. course, on Ari Jam 360 all over the world. Yeah, man. Good morning Gentlemen. and welcome. Nice to have you. Same here, same here, and good day to you. After yeah. all, after after all, it's you 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 just w we just would have celebrated Emancipation Day, and I know that there were lots of activities in Jamaica, yeah. and I see the splendor. Yes. and I just hope that the meaning resonates in our minds. It's not just a festivity aspect of it, but one of the good things that jumped out on me this last weekend was Denby show. You know, I, I, oh, oh how I miss Denby. You know, my mother used to take me there every year. Yeah, man. I've been there in a couple of years, but, but um, the, the, I trust it went. What well. I want to see more at Denby, I didn't. I, I, I'm asking the question. I'm not saying is that in in previous years is mostly um, companies that have big farms finished products that are, pro that are yeah. that are advertising okay. themselves what I yes. want to see is local produce mm. yes mm. I yes, want to yes. see wet sugar and not like what the, c the customers say you buy yeah. from you buy it buy from no. yeah I was wondering about that you know no. when uh, I especially uh, uh, listen, listen, listen by the way that's a good Mr. Charles you know. Mr. Charles especially when I saw that Clarence and that one you know <laughs> I said but wait go but wait <laughs> <laughs> and then I see the cost of some client and see them buy from parishes to present. No, you can't you know, do that. It's unfortunate. Yeah. It's unfortunate. No, you see, because there's a competition yes, among yes. parishes mm -hmm. that is judged by who come and look at how pretty yeah. your thing is, what you produce. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. so if you have the people who yes. make their parish look good, if they mm -hmm. don't have pumpkin, they buy pumpkin. <laughs> if they don't have melon, they buy melon and, and make the parish. And what he's saying, you must present produce it what you, you produce, produce in I your agree. parish and yeah, i am 100 percent the that, oh, yes. that's oh, an yes. interesting thing you know um just, just it's a gentleman i have high regard for william shaguri yes mm -hmm. yes and look at shaguri now shaguri comes from near eastern stock yes and where near from, from somewhere in the middle east in background mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes yes but if you tell that if you tell him that it's a little Jamaican bad Sh <laughs> well, but, but I was going real to say Sh Shaguri is one of the most authentic Jamaicans that there <laughs> is oh yes <laughs> out, of, oh out, yes. Of, no. out of many one no, people no but huh? we've been talking about this Creole culture you know where mm -hmm. where if you, 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 you bring your gift but you recognize that your gift is only a gift when it is shared and mm -hmm. when it is melded with, with it doesn't lose its distinctiveness you know but it gains its strength Exactly. Wow. Especially, especially when, when it links with other cultures. Mr. Mr. Clear, listen yes to sir. this one that I, I pick up this morning from Miss Blackwood. Mm -hmm. Every joke we got about Brother and Nancy was hung for a laugh after. We were never taught to learn to look behind the <laughs> joke. <laughs> how smart this man was. Oh and yeah. whether or not our, whoever the symbol is. Right? And somebody, they give us all of these cultural thing as big joke to laugh at and never to never to never to, get, never to try to get smart like that. You're, a, you're 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 a manic man right you're no no listen up no man get it right man bamboo sent Bam, down bamboo bamboo yes yeah yeah, yeah right yeah, so right. you know about some of them <laughs> things from up in oh, the yes. up in the quite, dry quite harbor so. mountain but Quite listen, so. Listen, listen to me Quite now. So. Before you all get so soused in your Saint Anne culture <laughs> this morning, <laughs> you see, I, I have a question for 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 Erwin. Yes, this is this is international politics now. Mm -hmm. Where Miss Pelosi go find herself in Taiwan for? Go nudge up the Chinese. Well, what that for? We everybody know that America back Ty Taiwan, and uh, but and that is that is understandable, and for many that is good. I'm not criticizing it, but at this stage. Yes, when 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 you you have all of the uncertainty in your in for your own country, the, the results of the primaries are coming out now. From yes, less yes. yesterday, yeah. or when when Ukraine a bubble and fight uh -huh. when okay. somebody is trying to 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 do a thing. Yeah, yeah. that make a ship so, can move. So on. so what where wh she going there for? She no, she no, what was Taiwan no need fishy come. To, to make their situation worse when, uh, with so China, China uh, uh, the uh, military exercise all over the place now and plane can land and, and, and all that. What that for? You must, stop, must stop provoke people. America's, America's foreign policy 
it's consistent. Yeah, but but, but hold on now, it's the same thing with the Ukraine thing, you know. Look, look at the butchery and the barbarism and the destruction that is taking place in Ukraine now. But wh 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 where we do before when we say, oh, Ukraine must be part of NATO? Be before you, be before you, 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 give, you settle the mm. thing, give, give, the, give the assistance. Everybody know Ukraine is tending towards the, the West. But if you, if, if you, if you, if you go disturb the bear, and the bear b b b b wake up, wake up and yam you. It bite yes. you. Well, is it? Again, bite you. Oh, what that yeah. for? Again, it goes back to the United States foreign policy and how it approaches things. Yeah, this man, is not, this is not, this is, I know, that is and Trump's it's not new. Man. We don't expect I, that of, well, the, of the Democrats. It. Well, it's Democrat or Republican. That has always been the policy. Taiwan and, and braces, here's the CNN tracker right now. Taiwan braces for China's fury after Pelosi visit. Mm. Now, what that good for? How that help well, world peace? What, well, was, what was the necessity for of that. waiting to hear hey. a reason for going there? If you, ha if you have sense, you pick your fight, you know. You know, you know. Yeah. True, true, you true, know true, you true. believe in that? Well, well, you see, and again here, it, it, it goes back to, again, how when the United States gets involved in certain aspects of our, our lives. And I look back at Jamaica, and I remember when Tillerson came to Jamaica, and the question was asked, why was he in Jamaica? Yeah. We saw the meddling there, yeah. and we saw how countries like ourselves acquiesced to whatever that was all about. But that has been the policy of the United States, and it has to demonstrate possibly to, to Russia, it demonstrate in one way, in, in, in its way of, of right. indicating to folks its, its power. So bring it home and to Jamaica now, Erwin, <laughs> yes. because if, 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 if you nudge up China in for them backyard with Taiwan, if you nudge up, um, if you vex up Russia, about for them backyard, w which is Ukraine. What you say about Jamaica now? We live in the underarm of the America, mm. of, of the United States. Yeah, then we right. must we must expect that 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 that, we, that anything America do is okay for us. What that? I was expecting an announcement. Yes, sir. From the lady when she reached Taiwan. Yes. What did she go for? I don't know. She just well, land on, she land and come back. You you hear it when she gets back to the United States when she has a press conference. Oh. And we'll see how China responds. <laughs> well, do you but you know, <laughs> we're seeing it right now. <laughs> yeah, well, so well, there's more. There's there's more to it than that. I would have to imagine. Well, no, you're and a, you're, um, a you're a very believing man. Uh, I, I and I also live here in the United States as we speak, gentlemen. My 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 question. I want to bring something closer home now. I of course, as you observe our beloved island and an era in which we celebrate our emancipation, we are to hear about communities under siege for hours by gunmen shooting and i'm saying to myself is this for real so can you like bring us up to date here especially for those of us here in the diaspora we heard of this i, I almost say incursion there in 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 saint in saint catherine probably outside spanish town where the police basically said that gunmen were shooting in communities and houses were firebombed is that for real uh, it has had more of an impact on your minds than it has on us. Uh, probably because, not because it didn't happen, <coughs> um, but because we kind of, it's so horrible to say, we're kind of used to it. <laughs> yeah? Um, no, seriously. Seriously. I was in those, some of those communities over the weekend, and um, you watch out, but you, you, it, 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 doesn't, it, it doesn't appear to be war or civil war or anything like that Darwin. But the fact of the matter is that there is a, a deep disquiet in the country that uh, Bacchanal and, and festival can't cure. The, there's a distress. People don't feel life going anywhere. They're not sure where they want their life to go. They're not sure who to trust. They certainly don't trust some traditional sources and institutions. And as a consequence, they, 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 they are, are very, very um, open to the kind of thing that 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 b if you can get hey somebody close to me said the other the, over the weekend if you have a, if you have money in this country you can get gone you know can get what gone but but let me ask you this so ronnie you mentioned and, and plenty if, plenty plenty people if you don't even have money and them get gone but let me let me ask you, you you made a statement just now that these things happen and it's probably just you know happens so it's no big deal is, is that the same sense psychology that we use towards responding to it and trying to put mitigate and trying to resolve it is that 
are we at the point where we just said, sure, it's just another part of how we proceed with things? I, I mean, I, I saw where the, the Minister of National Security now tells us, as if we didn't know this some long time, that we must lock our doors and we're in this before we go to bed. But the point is, is that, is that, is that the general sense of reproach or of response? No. Because if that's, if that's a psyche of the people, then what about those who are responsible for no, there are two, there are two, There are two, two different responses, Parnell can fit, fit in. There are those who feel that what you do is um, declare a state of emergency and um, lock up anybody who quint and that somehow that's going to, to solve uh, the problem. I want to know. When you declare a state of emergency, those guys just buck off, you know. Well, and so go someplace so the, else. The yeah. people who you lock up. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you really yeah. you really don't well z- t- tell that to the minister of constitutional yeah, and well, legal affairs you know. who has who, who appears to not understand even that um among other things but the 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 other the other response is a genuine concern for <coughs> what what is provoking what is in the minds of uh, not to tr- not to forgive not to forget not to condone but rather to understand the depths of this problem Ran, you know what frightens me and I heard a statement which says the gang in St. James <coughs> hear that on the radio that the one in Clarendon gone five more dead than them. Mm. I said, go make it up. But we have to hear that. No, no, Don't you understand that that could be real? Okay, so I asked a question in Parliament four years ago, Mr. Clare. Um, when one Pernod Child Sr. was the speaker, I have... I. I, I posed a resolution. Could this honorable house please discuss um, what what makes gangs attractive to uh, to, to Jamaican youth? Words to that effect. It was a bit more elegantly put. I hope. Yes, Jamaica is not the parliament in this country is not interested in that. You know, never uh, one second of debate. Let's go look a bit. Let me look a hmm. political. Neither no. government nor uh, opposition. Aye. Okay. Nobody. You get there. Mm. Of course because, I get there. But that's because that. I had to call you one day. Yeah. And said, Ra- yes. run it, bitch. I said, <laughs> run it. You have now about two or three hundred resolutions. <laughs> Does your party support them? No. And I talked uh, to some of the, the men who, you're your, your champ and their portfolio. Portfolio. Mm. And I said, make him go on, man. Kind of got no way. <laughs> well, this yeah. is it. Listen, and listen, and listen. guess so, what? So what I do agree, do? I, I, I agree with them. Yeah. So, uh, so right, on my side, so said the same thing. So we, 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 we call to our own game. Yes? Mm-hmm. We don't even yeah, want to talk about it. We, do, we, we call to our own game. And then we say, boy, what a, what a terrible thing I go on, eh? Indeed, indeed. Well, listen, we have to block the game right now because I'll <laughs> take a break. <laughs> so we'll and back. when we come back, and I know the, you have a special global, guest for us. Global Connection. Good day, gentlemen. We're back. We're back. And we're going to be joining shortly Lane Foster Allen, a uh, mm-hmm. highly respected teacher, public service administrator. Uh, she, her history involves being principal of the Shorter Training College and also permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education and in the Prime Minister's office. Can you imagine? Because yes, back indeed. to school time is coming up. Many people indeed. you are listening uh, oh, yes. are are now putting yeah, together ma. all kinds uh-huh. of resources now yeah, for ma. to help the children. We really congratulate them. We, we, we bless them for what they're doing. We know the pedigree of people like Awuja and mm-hmm. b- b- countless individuals mm-hmm. Li- mm-hmm. like that. And mm-hmm. we'd like a, a fix as to really what, what's going to be different, what needs to be different in uh, the education panorama in Jamaica. In Elaine Foster Allen, welcome. Good afternoon. Hi, Colonel Charles Irwin Clare, and yours truly are uh, at your service. Glad to have you with us on the public eye and on Ari Jam, the Global Connection. Okay, thank you very much, and good afternoon to you, um, Mr. Charles and uh, Mr. Mr. Clare. Yes. yes. Good. Yes. Elaine Foster Allen, what, what is what's going to happen on september morning coming up when schools reopen are we in a good place what needs to be done how do you view the the state of our preparation for the development of our children i can tell you what um we would normally do or would we would normally try to do um even though the context is different from say five five years ago or even more so, 
Um, but normally, going face to face back into a situation where um, furniture, I'm going to start with some very practical things. Um, furniture, as we have been told, um, has been um, destroyed, termite eaten. You would imagine that the schools have been well refurnished um, to meet the needs of the children when they come in so that, you know, this thing about furnishing and, and, and just providing desks and chairs, very interesting given that we, we know that sometimes arguments and fights um, develop yes. because children do not have a space Sure. Seat, right, and we know that we've been having some issues with children fighting and you know things becoming really out of hand. Sure. So I'm hoping that those sorts of support for learning things are going to be in place. Um, the we still have some issues with um, the assessment of children and where to place them in their classes and what to do to ensure that the loss that uh, many of them have suffered um, will be, you know, seen to, and I, I'm speaking about learning loss um, here. I, I recognize that although the government, the Ministry of Education has tried to do what it can do, much of what has been done has been done from centre as opposed to having, you know, people on the ground, principals and teachers working out within a, a framework that the, the centre would have provided what needs to be done for individual schools. Um, I'm not of the view that one size fits all at all. Um, so in terms of learning, I think there may very well be some challenges there in terms of support for learning. Um, there may be some challenges, um, and we really don't want to see any of those challenges um, emerge as things that distract um, teach, um, children from, from learning and teachers from teaching. I, I, the, I, no, you go ahead. No, sorry, sorry, Ronnie. You go ahead. I thought well, my it. my my concern is 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 all yours, but <clears throat> I'd really like to put to to you and to Pernell and Irwin, um, a, a, what I see as a very stark f f feature: a quarter of our children are not are not in school at all, or not effectively yeah. in school. One, two, we have lost two years of teaching and learning. And thirdly, mm -hmm. the, the, the socio-emotional regression of our children mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. is, is, is incalculable. Now, with, with, all, with deep sympathy and utter respect for those who, who have responsibility for education policy now, from the minister mm -hmm. to the school principal, I do not believe that there is sufficient concentration on how to remedy those things in the time that we have and with the urgency that is required. Shoot me down. Right. Tell me I'm wrong. Um, so, no, you're not wrong, Ronnie. I, I do believe that given the learning loss that we are aware of, I would have said that classes needed to be smaller, which would mean that you either need more staff, um, more classroom spaces, or you design... Um, teaching and learning activities that um, cut across face-to-face -face and but in any regard you'd need more staff to do that sort of thing. Mm. I think when you have 40 children in a class it is nigh on impossible especially we're talking about the, the, the range of learning um, challenges that you might find with children that either um, way behind in terms of the basics like, you know, reading and, and writing and uh, comprehension and so on, to where you have another set of children that are way ahead. Um, now, how do you support those children in their learning? Certainly, 14 a class to one teacher isn't going to do it, right? Um, 
And that is going to cause massive frustration and angst where teachers are concerned and where parents are concerned. I've not heard enough being said about how we are going to bolster the number of teachers that we, we have in our schools or how we are going to um, set out our timetabling so that y you can adequately meet the needs, the face-to-face -face learning situation and the needs of the children in a way that is going to be effective. Um, m added m to that, Mrs. foster Allen, stick, stick a pin right there, Mrs. foster Allen, because I am, I'm... Yeah. I'm concerned about the deficits. And yes. when we look at what has transpired over the last two years, um, mm -hmm. the, the term long distance learning used to be subjected to people far away doing things. But we mm -hmm. really now realize that the virtual space has brought us all closer. Right. Yes, there, ha there, there are some negatives regarding the virtual space, but there are also some positives. Mm -hmm. How do you see now that incorporated to be part of that whole mitigation process or that, that process that contributes to reducing the deficits that you will have in the whole teacher allocations because remember now there are persons far and wide that also yeah. have interest in providing such services how do you see all that being part of the presentation to deal with this subject it is a possibility that um, schools could be linking with sister schools, sister teachers, um, or brother teachers across the globe. You know, I, I remember when um, when Ronnie was Minister of Education, that we certainly looked at, for example, a campion with a school school in Manchester um, that was just you know starting up, and we looked at all the the capacity that a campion had in terms of their science teachers and math teachers mm -hmm. and so on, mm -hmm. and look mm -hmm. at the possibility of using virtual technology to enhance teaching and learning in that school in Annabelle. Um, now, it can be done. I think we have people in the diaspora who are ready and willing. It will take some coming together of... of um, you know, a person um, to, to, to work out how to do this sort of thing. It's not an impossibility. And mm -hmm. yes, it could enhance uh, teaching and learning and the opportunities for children in our school. Um, yes. In regard to, the, the, on the other side though, if you're talking about um, using the virtual space for some children, we have also got to recognize that there are children who will not, if they're not in a face-to-face -face environment, mm -hmm. um, being at home or wherever they're learning from is not the best option for them. Agreed. Because Agreed. they do not have the facilities and the equipment and the internet and, you know, those right, sorts right, of right. things. Right, right, right. So, uh, so, so but, and that's why... I think it, the, the principals and teachers in their schools who know the conditions, the, the home environment and the learning conditions um, of each child are best able to say, look here, we have a class of 40. We know that 20 of our 40 um, have access to A, B, C, and D. So we could put them onto, you know, that sort of a, a, a track for virtual, some virtual learning. We know that um, 10 in this particular class need support with remediation in, in language and math and so on and so forth. So we will, you know, um, create something for those children. And we have another 10 for whom something else needs to happen. So it's right. that sort of... Um, you know, critically appraising what needs to happen for each ch child and every class in your school. And I think, you know, it gives principals and teachers the power that they really need to do Indeed. what is necessary in their classrooms. Mrs. Fosterlin, <laughs> yes, Mrs. Pernell yes. Charles, I have a problem. I, with, I have a problem with you? both you and my colleague. I believe that the government has 
failed to get a group of people called teachers to work in the... Well, first, let me apologize, because not all the teachers. Mm -hmm. You still have teachers like mm -hmm. Teacher Williams who cut my head and put something in it. It literally mm -hmm. opened my head. You still have that dedicated teacher who cry if any of their children fail. You still have that out there. But our yes, bulk yes. of teachers, yes. right, are still in conflict with government, ministers, pay, union. We, we don't have... We, our, our men become teachers and they don't go in the classroom. They're going to find a better job in insurance in this and that. We mm. don't have the solid thing that we're looking for. You, you don't... Know. How are you going to get the child to tell me that you can't get teachers to say we're gonna we're gonna give up one term to catch back two years, and you don't know how many children who drop out didn't come back, but you put them mm -hmm. on vacation for more to drop out, more mm -hmm. not going to come back September, and you tell yeah. me about education, free democratic so, education rubbish. So you know uh. I have all I, some time ago I think when when the pandemic started and we saw how things were sort of nose diving. I thought to myself, it would be a good idea if the government were to go into a sort of a, so you're a trade unionist, you know, this sort of um, social, social contract. How do we come together to solve this problem? Now, there are teachers, principals and teachers I've spoken to who have, they just have not let up. They've been in their schools, they've been searching the, the, their communities for the children. They, ha they have cried over the fact that they can't find the children. They've become frustrated. Some of them have learned very quickly how to use the, the, the virtual space it, using their own limited resources in, in, in some cases. But we also have some teachers who are living in fear of the classroom and they have not come into their own as teachers, the sort of teachers that you're talking about, Mr. Charles, the sort of teacher, teachers that I experienced as a young person, the sort of teacher that I was. And I'm not, I'm not going to be bashful here. I'm going to say that I was a very good teacher. I, I look at the, the things that have been said about me. I wouldn't let up. I would be in my classroom until five and six o'clock and seven o'clock in the evenings talking to the children, helping them with their work, visiting their homes, making sure that they are getting what they need to get. And this You have not been able to transmit that to the bulk of our teachers. You have a trade union man talking for teachers. He talk rougher than any cane farmers um cane farmer uh, union hey. man. He want money, he want this, he want that. Yeah. Listen, we want so, so teachers who are transformed themselves into parents. Like Teacher let William said, when he rough it, run him hand in my head, him hand bruise up. What him said, well, well, so, so, well, so that was rough. So that was rough. <laughs> that was yeah, rough. It was so rough. Listen, said, I'm going to <laughs> open it, this, this rough head and put something in it. <laughs> We have a break coming up, Ronnie. Yeah. Oh, hold a sec, hold a sec, hold a sec for Miss. Elaine, Miss, just Miss, hold a Miss, second. Sir. We have to we take, take a break a, for the New York people. We yeah, we have to back. take a break here right now. Good. And you're listening. This is the public the eye on the bridge. Soon come. Talking with, El with Elaine Foster, Allen, distinguished educator, with Erwin Clare of the Global Connection at Ira Jam in New York. The Honorable Pernell Charles Sr. and I are at the bridge on the public eye in Jamaica. Uh, is, is, is Pernell right, uh, Elaine? Is, it, is, it, is there a problem, is a challenge in the teaching profession for, um, for, for a, a different mood, a different enthusiasm, a different ethic for the teachers? Um, well, I think we've had, um, over many years, um, teachers who have come into training, uh, not because they wanted to become teachers, but they saw the, 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 the getting the qualification certification as a stepping stone to something else. And quite a number of them have, you know, 
having taught maybe for two or three years, maybe even five years, have left and gone to pursue other things. Um, but we do have, I wouldn't say it's the majority, I wouldn't say it's the bulk, I would say we do have some teachers in the classroom who really ought probably not to be there, um, and they they are the ones we hear about and we, we see the effect of their um, work uh, on on teaching and learning and in you know in the classroom and in schools and so on. But I believe the majority of teachers were there are there because they want to be there. That's one. Two. It is well known that in place in a place like Finland, um, your number one profession in terms of qualification and employment and salary is actually the teaching profession. Um, I think we've heard the saying, um, the, the, um, the quality of your education system cannot be better than the, the, the teachers you yes. have yes. in your system. And I think the, the, right now we are at that place where we really need, the government needs to look at how teachers are treated, how teachers come into the profession once again. You know, there was a time when we used to have, you needed five CSEC to enter. That was your basic um, matriculation um, that was needed, Uh, basic subjects needed for matriculation. Now, the world has changed, and uh, people are saying you need more than that. You need at least, uh, you know, unit one CAPE. And we have moved from um, diploma to, to degree, and the program has become more rigorous. Now, what we also need is to look at a pathway for a young teacher going into the profession. Where do you want to get to in the profession? So it just, you don't see it as something, as an afterthought. You see it as a profession. You see that there are options within the profession. You want to go in, classroom teacher, senior teacher. So Career path in, yes. You know? Yes. So yes. I think that pathway, you know, I, I just need to say something which you might find a little interesting. I used to say to my students when I was principal at Shortwood Teachers College, there are two exits, two entrances and two exits um, to this college. Um, de- decide on what you want. You have come in, but if you do not see teaching as what you need to be in as your profession, your calling, the exits are open. And yeah, a, few, a few of the, the students that thought that was a bit harsh, but in truth and in fact, I wanted to safeguard the company of teachers. I indeed, wanted indeed. to ensure that... Mr. Swasa, Linda, let me apologize. Yes. Uh, let me apologize to some of the teachers who what we are saying here may embarrass them. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, there, are, uh-huh. there are not very many H.S. F- Williams and Foster Allen uh-huh. out there. Let me just say to you, there are some teachers who are great sacrifice. They have their children yeah. to take care of. They have this and, and probably we need to find them. We mm-hmm. need to do something for them because they have been making multiple sacrifice sacrifices yeah. for those yeah. children. But Ronnie, I am saying to you, we need to say if you're not a teacher, go somewhere else. We, can so bring, we need to pay the teachers Oh. Even if it's a temporary, I am <laughs> suggesting even if it's a temporary tax. Listen to before you go, uh, Irwin. I know yeah. your time is on you. No, uh, no, not not running yet, running. But but I just want to interject something here quickly. Go ahead. And that is, as we look at what the last two years, and I use that, has taught us, mm-hmm. right? That we can now think as if there's no box. We are not in a box. Create your own box. Op- yeah. Yes, there yeah. are opportunities there. And we have to deal with what is being presented to us. In dealing with some of these deficits, w- I, I take, for example, there are teachers, Jamaican teachers throughout the world where everybody wants. Yes. They, too, have some skill sets available that can, be, that can be used right now in the classroom via the virtual platform. What I'd like to see is to see the Minister of Education formalize a process working with diaspora groups and individuals throughout wherever they are who have an interest to give time and in some cases it may be a a stipend required 
But these are the skill sets which we may be short of. We may not necessarily have to get them there physically, but they are available in the virtual space. I also want to take this opportunity to laud, for example, an endeavor, and I use this again, I go back to Centon, Ronnie, and, and Pernell. York Castle High School has forged a relationship with Delaware State University, where starting September, they're providing aeronautics um, 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 education for students who are interested in, 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 in being a, a pilot. These are the mm. kind of things that individual principals are out there doing, forming these type of relationships. Why can't we mm. see the Ministry of Education having a platform, a system in place to encourage and augment this process across the board? Well, that's a, those, are, those are solid suggestions. Um, mm -hmm. Recently, last week in fact, um, the following view was, was expressed about our education system. I'm quoting, if there is one thing that we need to carve out and say, this is what we are building for the future, this is what we are going to concentrate on, this will be the legacy of this generation, and this is where we are going to spend every cent we can squeeze out of our limited financial resources. It must be education. And that carve-out means that we must also carve it out of political cascas and finger-pointing. Talk about consensus and continuity. That carve-out means that government and opposition must join forces to face down the opponents of change, to beat down the institutional resistance to reform wherever it is found in education. He goes mm. on. Who is that? Bruce? That is the Honorable Bruce Golding, oh, yes. former, <laughs> former Prime Minister <laughs> of this country. You want more? Yeah. <laughs> the, the type of ac the type of actions that our leaders need to be need to be deploying when they're in office and and, and that is the challenge that we have and, and I, I first of all I respect those comments and I think they're absolutely correct why can't we have these things being applied right now why why can't we have them being applied right now I, I, I stop I stop want to ask a question <laughs> I want to hear you say we are going to do these things. Okay. The, the question. Well, you know, the question. The, 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 when in, you ask the question, there's no answer. Elaine, what is your mm. what is what, what is <laughs> your report? I was just thinking, Ronnie and uh, Mr. Clare, Mr. Charles, that um, in 2004, if you recall, yes. um, um, Prime Davis. Minister at the time, P.J. Patterson and uh, um, Mr. Siaga, who was opposition leader, yes. came together in a bipartisan approach in Parliament. Yes. To, to, to ensure that we could come together over the reform of education. And that was the Transformation Report of 2000. That's how the Transformation Report of 2004 came about. And it was part and parcel of the platform for both governments um, over maybe two administrations. It, it you know, it's interesting that the Patterson report, Patterson said the many things that have been, um, that were in that report. Um, he was simply repeating them and saying that they have not been put in place. Um, and we have to do that neighbor, uh, I think, indeed, to say, indeed. where did we go wrong? Where, mm. why haven't we over the past eight, six, eight years not just built on that? So and, mm. and and do what we need to do for our children. The, 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 so the conclusion of this this conversation then is that we are calling for that uh, kind of renewed uh, unity and for some mm -hmm. very urgent and far-reaching things, including our diaspora and this interest, mm -hmm. this commitment to education, to take place now. It is that kind of discourse. It is that kind of resolve that we really need. Now we are saying, Ronnie, if we do not proceed on that road, we are going in the gully. Well, there you are. <laughs> well, uh, Elaine I, I, I agree. we are storing up grief. Yes, for, for ourselves. Thanks so much for your part. Thanks so much for your commitment. We're grateful. Elaine Foster Indeed. Allen, distinguished educator and public servant. Erin Clare, I mean, yeah, th you th know. that's enough <laughs> to, to take you. Thank you very much. 
Well, it is indeed as we enter into August 6th or, or Independence, uh, significant things are taking place here in the Tri-State area. Um, Governor Hochul, you know, has, um, one would say, you know, codified that... Um, she's, a, she's the governor of New York Governor State. of New York, yes, uh -huh. state, that August 6th will always be Jamaica flag raising day. Good. We didn't know that from a long time. Uh -huh. So <laughs> so now the state is recognizing it. And I think we have a response. Yeah, sometimes you, we, we have some of these accolades being placed in us, you know, around here and... And and uh, it is not something that someone else give us in something we earn. Jamaicans, Caribbean people have sig have have made contributions to New York State that is just above above and beyond. And so you know, Saturday morning that'll be the official flag raising takes place at Bar Hall in Brooklyn, the center of the Caribbean, where most Caribbean people live. It will be a distinct honor for Jamaica. Our flag will be flown from from the the flagpole that morning, and we'll do the same thing in uh, White Plains later on in the evening. Uh, as well, come Monday again in Queens, the bar present with who has Jamaican parentage, Don the Don Von Richards will also be doing a flag raising here in Queens. There'll be several other flag raising throughout the Northeast, whether from Rhode Island all the way down to Atlanta, and of course Florida. But you know, we'll be celebrating, and as we celebrate, we also recognize the contributions of our four par four parents and what they have made, and the responsibility we have now to build on what has been done to move forward. So gentlemen, I just want to impact on all our Jamaican brothers and sisters that as you celebrate, be mindful and be responsible for yourselves, your family and your community. The pandemic is still active. And I asked Ronnie to just give me yeah, man, take 10 seconds. Go ahead. Because I, when I looked at what took place yesterday, I had to say to the congratulation to the minister, Babsy Grange, and her team, I think they have done a wonderful street operation and run it. Thank God the gunmen have turned off their guns. We did not hear any. I'm going to appeal to them. Let us go through this period peacefully and we don't have any headlines of murders and confrontation. Thank you, sir. Mm. Irwin. I sound like the Reverend Ronnie Tweet. <laughs> no, no, no. You sound like a politician you know, from Clarendon. <laughs> <laughs> Representing Aye. someplace in Clarendon. Thanks so much for um, your company today, sir. And enjoy the independent celebrations. Uh, we will do a part best. on this end. And we look forward to our connection next week and beyond. All, all the best to you, gentlemen. On the Global Connection, Irwin Clare of Ari Jam Radio, partner with the Bridge 99. Bringing the public eye with the open mind to a close. Thanks so much, Mr. Charles, for your goodness and for your optimism and for the spirited discussions that we have and for the commitment to unity and nationalism eh? yes 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 that's that's where we want to be and thanks to Lafayne thanks to Jeffrey and to Romy and to everyone who makes this program possible you're listening to The Bridge 99 the one and only Nikki Z follows with all of her connections and vibes this is part of what Jamaica is this is part of what The Bridge stands for to the world see you next time